believe it's incredibly important to have openly gay and lesbian elected officials. And I just want to tell one, one quick story. I was at a subway stop, 52nd Street in Woodside, Queens, two days ago, petitioning. And a man came up to me, he said, I'm 69 years old. And he said, you're great. And I said, thank you very much. And he signed. It was a great conversation. And then he leaned into my ear, even though we were just the two of us standing on a street corner. And he said, I'm with my friend for 41 years. 41 years. And he said, I am proud of you for the way you and your friend live. And he said, you're making it better for all of us. That was an amazing moment. And he said he's 69. Then he gave me some advice on how to stay married for a really long time. <laughs> it's a very true story. You're all missing a great line, trust me. But there are children here, so I'm not going there. So, and my mother. My mother. Thank you. But I just want to say, it would be historic, it would be important. She's not running because she's a lesbian. I'm not voting for her because she's a lesbian. It's because she's good and she's gonna be a great mayor. But don't think for one second that Christine Quinn being mayor is not gonna send a message to that 16-year-old lesbian in the Bronx who's not sure if it's worth staying alive or dead. So even though we've made great progress, we can do so much more as a city, as a community. So ladies and gentlemen, my friend, I believe the next mayor of the city of New York, Christine Callahan Quinn. Thank you. 
and an elected official. So I got to thank all of you for sending him to City Hall to help make this borough, this district, and this city a better place. And I just ask you all to be as supportive of him as you possibly can.